This video is about Peak Flash, a Windows software for uploading firmware. With this, you can update the standard firmware of the most Peak system products, or you can upload your own custom firmware, in case you're working with a programmable hardware. You can download the software from our website for free. Navigate to Support and Software, Download the zip file, unpack it, and install Peak Flash. Now we can start the software. Peak Flash is guiding you step by step through the firmware upload process. We have embedded the firmware of most Peak system products, so you don't have to search for the correct file. Each firmware is listed with its version and release date. In addition, version histories are available on our website. If there is an update of Peak Flash with new embedded firmware, this is indicated on the welcome screen. Now we start the firmware upload process by clicking on Next. In this step we select the target hardware. For PC interfaces select locally connected CanLin interfaces. All PC interfaces connected to your computer are listed with their current firmware version. You can directly select the desired interface without any further preparation and go on by clicking Next. But in this example, I want to show you how to upload a firmware to a hardware connected to a CAN bus. For this, select modules connected to the CAN bus. This case requires a PCAN interface for the connection to the CAN bus. Select your interface from this list. The interface has to be connected to the target hardware via CAN. Please note that a CAN bus must be correctly terminated at both ends with 120 ohm. Now we need to set the bit rate. Firmware uploads to peak system hardware usually require a bit rate of 500 kilobit per second. Please note that all nodes at a CAN bus must use the same bit rate. This is why we recommend a direct connection to the target hardware. Unless your CAN bus runs with a bit rate of 500 kilobit per second anyway. Set the correct bit rate. In addition, the CAN bootloader of the target hardware must be activated to enable firmware uploads via CAN. In some cases, this is done automatically via Peak Flash. In other cases, further preparations are required. Please check the manual of your product for instructions. If all preparations are done, the target hardware can be detected by Peak Flash. Click on Detect. In our case, the Peak and Router Pro FD is detected and listed with its module ID and firmware version. Via the module ID, several devices of the same type can be distinguished. See the manual of your product for information how to set the module ID. By clicking on this triangle, additional information can be displayed. For this example I choose the Peak and Router Pro FD and click on Next. In this step, you can select the firmware to be uploaded. There are two options. We can either select the embedded firmware or we can upload a custom firmware. For the latter, we would browse to the custom firmware, which should be a bin file created for the selected hardware. But in this example, we continue with the embedded firmware and click on Next. The following step, Ready to Flash, shows a summary of the selected settings. If everything is OK, we can start the firmware upload. Please make sure that the power supply is not disturbed during the flashing procedure. Click on Start. At this point the firmware upload takes place. The different steps of the procedure are indicated in this list. The overall progress is indicated below. The flashing procedure was successful. 
After this the CAN bootloader of the hardware must be deactivated. If no previous modifications of the hardware were required, this can be done by a reset via peak flash or by disconnecting and reconnecting the power supply. For this example I reset the hardware via peak flash. With this, I go to the last step and the firmware upload procedure is finished. Now you can use your hardware with the new firmware. If you want, you can restart the application or close it with exit. Thanks for watching.